Hi everyone, Gail here from gailbottomlyonline.com and today I just want to discuss with you the blog post dating only because an email came out today and uh, and I had a look at it and they discussed the whole thing about dating your blogs and whether it was a good idea or not. So I thought I'd take a bit of a look at it and also uh, just share it with you and you can make up your own mind. How about that for an idea? So here we go and have a look at it and we're looking at it mostly in relation to WordPress um, websites because in most cases you'll find that your blogs actually are dated. Did you know that? I know many of you have said to me, look, can I get rid of these jolly uh, dates? And, and my reply has always been, I know. Well, I think it's best to leave it there because I've always been told that Google likes it there. So maybe the jury's out as I've looked at all the different emails that have come in today and the conversation about blog post dating, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, some say it's fantastic, you should leave it there. And others say, no, get rid of it. It doesn't make any difference. So I share it with you today and then you can make up your own mind as to what you want to do. So should we or should we not? And are there advantages? Well, there's good advantages for for your people that are reading your blog posts. They might remember a date. Oh, I remember the date when she blog post about this. And, and so it's a good uh, reference point. Um, and then others uh, say, no, you shouldn't because it makes your uh, blogs outdated. So um, it can make your site look old and outdated, especially if you're using stickies. And that means when you stick the post to the front. So I'm going to give you an example here. This is my one of my websites here. And this particular post here, you'll notice, is October the 11th. Well, today is August the 10th, 2011. So this is almost a year old. And it's sitting here, and it works away quietly all by itself. But you see up here, it's got a date. And some people could think, oh, this is dated. This is old. And perhaps it won't work anymore. So that's thinking the, 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 the people, those the thinkers out there, that if we got rid of that, that would be a better idea. Now, the reason why this is stays here is because it's a sticky. I've made it a sticky. It's like my little sales page, and I always want it at the top. And so it's going to keep that date. I wish I could get rid of it because it's a salesy thing and I don't really want a date on it. So I can go into my CSS and change it all around there, or I can make some other changes in some other places which make it all very difficult. Or I can do the easy way and just go get the plugin. So with this plugin, I can make the changes on the dates. I can take the dates out totally, or I can decide to leave the dates in there for maybe seven days or four days or 10 days, and then they just disappear. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and get that plugin right now, and I'm going to set it up. And it's called Date Exclusion SEO Plugin. Actually, it's not got that whole name when you, <clears throat> just when you search for it, you can search that way. But it's just date exclusion SEO. And all you do is bring it up there and you go install. So we're just going to quickly install it onto uh, this particular website, activate the plugin. And then what we'll do is we'll quickly go in and I'll show you some of the settings in it. Now we have to come down the side here. And uh, there it is right there, date exclusion SEO. So we have to set it up. You can't just put it on and leave it. You actually have to go and set it up. So remove dates from posts. Um, you can remove them from the tag pages if you want. You can remove them from the category and from the front page. You can take them out of wherever you want them. Now, number of days to expiry. So you can fill that in as well. And let's I, I like to make it at least 10 days. You can make it seven, three, four. I look, it doesn't really matter. And then you can put in all this here if you want as well. Comma, delimited list of posts IDs. Well, they have numbers. So if you want to just exclude some, you can um, put them in there. All right, so I just go save changes. And you would have noticed before, before I do the refresh, if you come down here, it's July the 31st. And down here, we've got uh, July the 27th. Now let's do a refresh and hopefully it's all worked and, and the dates will have disappeared because the seven days is basically up. So let's go down here and have a look. Well, we've still got them here, so let's have another go. Alrighty, so I just missed one little thing here. I didn't uh, remove dates from the front page. So as soon as I ticked on that and click Save Changes, 
then um, they all disappeared. Look at that. So uh, the 10 days is up on all these. They've been up for longer than that. So now we have no dates in here. So that's a, f a fairly easy little plugin that you can use to get rid of the dates if that's what you would like to do. So that was pretty simple, wasn't it? So it's a free plugin called Date Exclusion. There you go. So a uh, good idea to go and have a look at it, trial it out for yourself. Now I have a special offer for you. It's very special. If you'd like more free tips on internet marketing and social marketing, then come on over to gailbottomlyonline.com or you can visit my YouTube channel and it has over 180 uh, videos in there and they're all really helpful to help you with your internet marketing and help you with your social marketing as well. So this is Gail Bottomley here from Gail Bottomley Online. Have a great day.